people. Okay, our next movie is Michael Jordan to the Max, starring the biggest superstar in the world on the biggest screens in the world, IMAX and Omnimax. Now, forget about larger than life. He's just plain huge here. Now, if God himself appeared in the sky, I don't think his image would be much larger, nor would he get a more reverential treatment than Jordan receives in this wet kiss of a documentary, which chronicles his final championship year with the Chicago Bulls. That may have been the last shot Michael Jordan will ever take in the NBA. If that's the last image of Michael Jordan, how magnificent is it? As for Michael the man, much of what we hear is like an outtake from a Nike commercial. Somewhere there's a kid working. He won't skip any steps. He will learn from my example just as I've learned from others. There will be a player much greater than me. But at least one superfan has a sense of humor about his airness. You figure there have been, I don't know, 25,000 years. I don't know how you do the math of that, but that's like out of all the 50,000 top athletes since, you know, prehistoric time, brontosaurus and dead pterodactyls included, he's right there. And you know, it's just plain frightening to see anyone's head inflated to a height of four stories. Now, I was lucky enough to see Michael Jordan play dozens of times, and I've seen him many times off the court as well. And you know what? He doesn't talk like he does in this movie. He's a more complicated person than the airbrushed version you see on TV and in this movie. I expected Michael Jordan to the max to give us something beyond a super big screen version of ESPN highlights. I hope there'd be some new fresh insights into this very famous but still mysterious man. But that didn't happen, so I'm giving this thumbs down. I've given a thumbs down, too. This is like an NBA promotional film. This yeah. is like the authorized, official, standard version of Michael Jordan. It's like a promotion for Michael Jordan, the product. And even the talking heads that they mm -hmm. have come on all sound rehearsed and scripted, and they tell us things we know. We've heard this thousands so of times. times. So he, many times. So many times He works harder than anyone else. He wants to win more than anyone else. Uh, he's, he's a good basketball player. He's the greatest There's basketball a shocker. player who ever lived. And yeah. it goes on and on. We've heard it, we've heard it, we know it by heart. We want to know, either we want to know something about Michael Jordan, which I don't think we're ever going to get, yeah. because that wall of privacy is there, or we want to see mm -hmm. some great basketball footage. I would have rather seen 45 minutes from the last game of the, of the last That's playoffs a good idea. than 45 so minutes of this, which is itself. just, as you say, ESPN highlights. Yeah, and you know, the IMAX, we expect so much more from them, and maybe because they had to stay on the sidelines, obviously they can't mm -hmm. be out on the courts showing it from Jordan's point of view. We expected something different from them. I remember seeing documentaries about the Packers and the Cowboys in yeah. the 70s that were more insightful than this. Well, this is not a documentary film. This no. is a promotional film. It's like a 45-minute commercial. You could substitute true... the word Jesus for Jordan in, yes. throughout this movie, and it would work. That's Wouldn't how reverential anyone. it is. Okay, coming up later in the show, Kevin Spacey and Danny DeVito, our salesmen, intent on landing the big kahuna. He's honest. Oh, well, that is a problem. Coming up next, Ethan Hawke in a modern version of Hamlet. Where is Polonius? In heaven.